for good or bad, artificial intelligence is here to stay. And it's all around us. For example, in one Quebec town, it's driving the way to ease traffic. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Genevieve Beauchemin is on this story today. Okay, Jen, how is AI helping in this case? Yes, Andy, waiting for the lights for both motorists but also pedestrians has long drawn some grumbling, but the lights here are supposed to be smart. This busy boulevard in the town of Kirkland, Quebec, has come a long way. The longtime mayor here, Michel Gibson, says he once faced a steady flow of complaints about the flow of traffic. Basic clogging uh, vehicles, honking, you know, on. A story of wasted time that resonates in many cities across Canada. But Kirkland zeroed in on a high tech solution calling on AI. Those are radars and also cameras. The data is analyzed and triggers the lights which are synchronized along the boulevard. This, powered by no traffic, a mobility management platform. The radar can see things in the dark, in the rain in the snow and in shadows. And in using those, we can get a very robust understanding of who is at the intersection. Are they in vehicles? Are they waiting at the sidewalk? Are they on a bicycle? The technology is now installed in several municipalities in four provinces. Now the cost was a big investment for the small but growing municipality of Kirkland, $1.8 million for 10 intersections. But the mayor says green lighting AI eased congestion and its consequences. We've seen a reduction of uh, uh, pollution, you know, waiting time, but also this intersection are safer for pedestrians. No traffic says it has crunched the numbers. We've reduced commuter delays by 48%. If you happen to drive this, this car, you'll see a difference. Pedestrian delays have gone down 33%. And also reduction in emissions has come down by 2,800 metric tons. Now, not all motorists give the traffic lights a passing grade. Very uh, often you ha you're stopped at almost every light. Still, many other commuters say on most days it makes the ride a lot smoother. The municipality here says the cost has been worthwhile, and now other cities are also looking into this technology. Sandy. Okay, Jen, thank you.